Hey babes and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it is your first time joining us, thank you so much for stopping by. It is so lovely to see your face here. Please go ahead, hit that subscribe button and join the fam. Become a part of the C X family. As you guys can see by the title of today's video, we're gonna be doing a foundation video. And guys, I've been, 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 been saying I'm gonna make a video on my foundations or a review, a some sort of video including foundations, cause that's probably the question I get asked most is what foundation do you like wearing? What's fair foundation? What's the shade in this? What's the shade in that? I love foundation. I know other people always want to know about foundation. So like I've been sort of battling with them. I'm going to show you guys my new stuff, old stuff. Um, and I've ultimately decided to show you guys some of my oldies but my goodies. Because of the fact that I'm not actually able to find my shade in any of the new stuff. I don't understand what's going on. I'm not understanding what's happening but uh, i was able to find my shade in the wet and wild foundation so please give me a thumbs up if you guys want to see a review on that foundation is only 99 rand so i really want to review this for you guys i want to know that you guys want me to review it and because there's i feel like there's going to be a lot to say about that foundation a lot even just going off going to go and buy it and seeing what i saw when i went to the actual um to their stand at the shops i said wow so if you guys want to see a review on that one give this video a big thumbs up so i know that y'all want to see it but today in this video i'll be showing you guys two of my favorite drugstore foundations two of my favorite high-end foundations and i'll be giving one foundation an honorable mention honorable mention in the sense that i don't know if it's going to be a favor of mine but i'm liking how things are going so far i need a little bit more time to sort of you know see how it's gonna go with this foundation but i'm loving it so far so if you guys want to see um, my favorite drugs on high-end foundations definitely stay tuned to this video and again don't forget to like comment subscribe and let's kiss so i'm gonna start off by showing you guys my favorite high end then we'll move to drugstore and then i'll show you guys my honorable mention at the end sort of towards the end i'll show you guys my favorite foundation which is actually a drugstore foundation and i will actually be applying it on my skin i did choose to come on here barefaced so that i could actually swatch the foundations on my skin because i've had foundation on you guys really wouldn't be able to see how it looks on my face it won't really assist you guys to swatch it on my hand because my hand and my and my face aren't really like the same shade type of thing. So I want to show you guys an actual um, depiction of how the foundation will look on my skin. And so let's get started. Let's start off with our dress. Oh, no, no. no. High-end foundations. <laughs> Okay, I want to just also put out a small, small disclaimer here that I do tend to buy my foundations a little bit darker than my skin tone because of the fact that I do manipulate the foundation with your concealers, your contouring, all of that. So I do want to let you guys know that please don't drag me, please. Please don't drag me in the comments telling me about this this foundation is too dark for you. It's cool. We know. Let's move on. Okay, so my first one is something that you guys are going to be like, sis, way. Because I spoke about the foundation on my Hot New Ish video back uh, last year. My first one that I ever did. I spoke about this last year and I kind of dragged them a bit for the shade range. Personally, my views haven't changed on the shade range. But I'm here to talk about the foundation itself. Um, and I have to sort of give props and props are due. But yeah, this is the Benefit Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation in the shade number 9. You can find this foundation at your Edgar's, your True Words. I'm going to read you guys a little bit about foundation from the actual site. Um, so that we can kind of see what it claims. And then what it actually, you know, be doing for my life. Okay, so this, um, the website, the actual Benefit website says, Benefit's Hello Happy Soft Blur Foundation SPF 15 evens out skin tones and blurs imperfections with soft focus optical blurring spheres the lightweight and buildable formula is easy to apply and flashback free plus it contains shea extract an ingredient known to smooth and help protect skin <laughs> so basically it says that this foundation obviously has spf in it even down skin evens out skin tone it blurs imperfections and it's lightweight buildable and um, shouldn't have any flashback that's kind of the main things that the foundation says so in my humble opinion i feel like this foundation is really really great especially for the summer months i don't know if i mentioned that in the first video but definitely a great foundation for the summer months guys it is so lightweight on the skin um 
The number nine is in my exact, exact, exact skin tone. I will be swatching it for you guys. But um, yeah, I really, really like how this foundation applies. It really is buildable, like they say. Um, it is. It does cover up your imperfections, even as um, I think I would, I would give this maybe like a medium to sheer coverage because it's really, really not that full coverage thing. It's not some of the other foundations that I'll be showing you guys today, but I like it for that purpose because if you're not going for a super hectic beach, also don't need your foundation to give you all of that coverage. Um, yeah, it's really, really nice. I really, really love how it applies, as I said. And the soft blurring, I think it does give that sort of effect. I haven't worn this foundation by itself in a very long time, but I really, really do like how it applies by itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a little swash of me on my face. this is the color that it gives off i wouldn't actually necessarily say this is too much darker than my skin tone but it is does definitely not match my skin tone directly i don't think but it's pretty pretty close um you guys can see that if in relation to my neck if i put it on my neck um, it will actually blend out and sort of make the things to be done but it's not the exact match to my neck as you guys will be able to see there but obviously as i said manipulation will be done um you can see that it's a very very sheer coverage you can see that you can still see my imperfections underneath the foundation so um you can see kind of the fact that it's not that full coverage but it is that thing called lightweight because you guys can hardly even you I can't feel that there's foundation on my skin at all at this point, which is really, really great for me, but it can be builded up, built up. <laughs> Let's build it up a little bit more so maybe we can actually test that. can see definitely buildable you can see less of my imperfections now this will be something king will go now i'm ready to go out this is like the least that i would do to go out the first one is definitely not to zx online it cannot be me this i could actually go out in but if i was going for a more full coverage or let me not even say a more full coverage look if i'm going for a more dramatic look on the eyes the brows everything i'm definitely gonna have to put on one more layer of this but um yeah i still think it's great still doesn't feel like i have stuff on my face guys which is brilliant if i can build it up at least three times and i still don't feel like i have anything on my face this is a winner for me it reminds me a lot of the next total control drop foundation which i have done a review on before and you guys can definitely check it out on there but it really does remind me of that foundation but it has something different but if i were to compare it to a foundation it's definitely that one so if you guys have liked the total control from nyx you definitely are gonna love this foundation so yeah this is the benefit soft Fur happy hello happy foundation in the color number nine I still stick to what I said guys, the shade range for this foundation is not my favorite and I feel like Benefit needs to do more in including more shades for more people of color. I stand to be corrected if, I, if they have added more shades to their range, but when they had launched in South Africa, it was not... It was not it for me do a better benefit the babies want to wear foundation too the babies want to wear foundation too i feel like it's important also now to mention that i haven't put any primer on my skin for these foundation tests so you're seeing them just as they are with nothing added so my next foundation is foundation that i actually got sent last year and i've loved her ever since um we weren't having the best relationship right at the beginning she wasn't my favorite she was kind of just there kind of just you know eh, she okay she cute or whatever but now oh wow i can't really imagine my life without her i can't really see myself living a full and wholesome life without her in it and this is my good sis bobby brown skin weightless 
found day day she doesn't even have a lid anymore guys because wow she's traveled from cape town to Joburg, from res to home baby girl has traveled she's lived with me through some times you know and um, this is the bobby brown skin long wear weightless foundation spf 15 full cover oil free shine control foundation this is that foundation this is that b i honestly um i didn't rate her that much at the beginning guys i won't even lie to you but wow did she come through she let me know that babes just give me some time give me some time to show you so i'm in the shade almond in this foundation my mom even got this foundation after i recommended it to her she wouldn't say that but like it be the truth and i really 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 like this foundation guys this foundation is full cover age it is more on the pricey side but like it's worth your coins when i tell you when i tell you spend your money on this bobby brown foundation listen to me clearly listen to me clearly okay so let's also read what the internet webs are saying about what the bobby brown um foundation is all about okay so according to the interwebs the new skin long wear weightless foundation spf 15 is a multi-dimensional matte coverage meets comfortable all-day wear multi-dimensional matte reflects light to enhance the skin's natural contours and dimensions while concealing redness discoloration and pores now 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 it says that okay first things first it says that it's a multi-dimensional matte coverage and it meets comfortable all-day wear these are factuals this foundation also really sits nicely on the skin i don't feel like it feels like skin as much as the bobby um, the benefit one that i just showed you guys now but definitely also very light on the skin it doesn't it's not hectic like your full coverage foundations usually are i don't know if you guys know what i mean when i say this but you know when you're wearing a foundation and you can feel that you're wearing the foundation same way you may feel like when you're wearing a moisturizer and it just sits on top of your skin the same way and that's not a great way to be feeling for the whole day i don't feel like i can wear a foundation like that the whole day so this is a foundation that you can definitely wear for the whole day it's never a 24 hour thing but you can definitely wear it throughout the day throughout your daily activities multi-dimensional matte definitely a matte a foundation i forgot to say about the last one as well it's also matte this is also a really matte foundation this is matte 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 when i tell you guys when you put this foundation on your skin you need to work quick in a hurry you can't be doing you know slow maintaining. you need to be quick fast so yeah very very matte and it dries really quickly um but it doesn't dry up your skin when i say it dries i mean it mattifies on your skin quite quickly reflects light to enhance skin's natural contours and demand yeah i don't know about all the depth but it really does cover really well i don't know what the heck reflects light to enhance skin's natural contours i, I really can't confirm nor deny <laughs> but what i will tell you is that this this foundation is very full coverage so when it says it does conceal darkness and all of that stuff and redness it does that thing so i do have a bit of redness on my face right now so i guess we'll be able to see so let us swatch it again i said i am in the shade almond i feel like this isn't far off from my skin tone but it's not my exact skin tone as well i'm not mad at how it looks oh sis okay let's do one pump one pump Mm. guys i will say this foundation has a scent it has a smell i'm literally doing another um, review basically since i already reviewed this foundation but like honorable mention like i had to do it again mm. the scent is like annoying but we lived through it so this is my old face and this is my beef face guys can you <laughs> do you have to do you guys actually i don't think you guys are seeing what this foundation can do now you guys obviously saw the last foundation I had to build it up this there's no you, you don't need to build it's built it's done the house is finished like this is the finished result this is stunning for me I absolutely, absolutely, totally love the coverage of this foundation. Applies really well. Again, doesn't feel hectic on my skin. It doesn't, again, as I said, feel as skin like as the last one. But listen, I could bang this the whole day. Definitely, I could bang it. So, yeah, as you guys can see, it is 
it's not far off from my skin tone as well kind of the same as the other one but when i put my concealers and all that it really works well together and creates a nice and really really flawless base this is how it looks without me having put primer on it so you guys can tell my jara combos are communicating i really really love it if we're looking at it in relation to my neck better than the other one and also really really would blend well with my neck so not a problem there also make sure guys at all times that you're blending your foundation to your neck because this you don't want this to happen like this is not it this is how it looks i'm gonna leave again all the information on the screen and down below but Joanne, Joanne, listen to me you guys want this you guys want this foundation you do you do <laughs> you need it now my good friends we move on to our favorite sisters over at the drugstore the baby girls who always have the right price and we love her and we love them for that thing so the first foundation i'm going to be showing you guys is the foundation from rimmel you guys I know they always say YouTubers always say yeah. uh, I know a lot of you guys ask me how to talk about this or a lot of you guys have been requesting that I do this video and then, then, then whatever but you guys genuinely a lot of you guys have asked me about this foundation a lot I'm saying it I'm owning it with my chest a lot of you guys have asked me about it drag me in the comments it's fine it is the Rimmel lasting finish 25 hour um, foundation this is how it looks it is in the red tube and this foundation is really really popping at the moment it's popping ten. people are loving this foundation weirdly enough i got this foundation um at a campaign that i was doing they wanted us to sort of um compare some foundations and i got this foundation i didn't even know about it or anything but i got it and i said wow babe 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 is this you okay cool and i honestly rimmel wasn't on my radar for the longest of times and when i finally like got this foundation i was like okay no shout out rimmel you're doing something i'm in the shade um hazelnut here to be honest i'm not in the shade hazelnut this is just the shade that i got um, i definitely need to get a shade lighter you guys will see even when i swatched on my skin way too dark for me even when i put concealer and stuff on it it's too dark it's too dark this is not my shade i think i would go one shade lower than this maybe even yeah maybe one shade two shades is a bit dramatic so one shade uh, lower than this is going to be my shade i'll try find what that is and i'll put that in the description box or on the screen um but let us see what the webinets is saying about this foundation so on the rimmel website it says the last and finished 25 hour breathable foundation with spf 18 is rimmel's most lightweight long-lasting formula it perfects your skin with medium buildable coverage without clogging pores so my experience of the foundation definitely would say it's a full coverage foundation like this foundation is full coverage and i love 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 to find a drugstore foundation that is really really full coverage because also guys if you think about it if you're buying full full coverage foundation you can apply less product and you can actually make the products last longer than your foundations that you'll have to build up more because you're obviously using a lot more product and if the products are expensive then you don't really really want to be doing that you want to just go ahead buy the bullets and buy a full coverage foundation that's just my opinion but um yeah this foundation is definitely full coverage skin perfecting but what i will say it is i do not feel like it is skin like i don't feel like that is accurate i don't know if that just maybe me you guys let me know what your experience of the foundation is i do feel like it is more so than the other two you can feel that you know you have foundation on your face it's not something that's super hectic or anything that i would write home about but it is more so like a full you can feel that it's a full coverage foundation on your skin um definitely you can wear it the whole day because it also is really matte on the skin as you guys can tell i really dislike matte foundations me and i do foundations we don't really mesh well but i should definitely try them in the winter time so you guys let me know what is your favorite dewy foundation let me know down below and maybe i can give it a try because i always just lean towards the matte foundations because i just feel like i've always been an oily girl so matte's just made the most sense for me but yeah anyways um it is a foundation that you can wear for the whole day definitely agree with it when it says that um it is comfortable to wear i don't feel like even with the fact that it is a little bit more on the fact on the side of you feeling it on your skin it is comfortable doesn't feel like awful because i mean you are wearing makeup at the end of the day so i feel like now it is time for me to swatch this for you guys so i want you guys also to keep in mind with the swatch that i did say this foundation is not my shade it's not my shade it's literally just not my shade so you guys can see that it's pretty dark you maybe won't be able to see it i did another line there maybe you won't be able to see it now but once i blend it's another one you need to work fast you can't be even now it's already drying 
by the way i clean off the brushes so i don't mess or mix up the foundations um let's put a little bit there a little bit goes a long way again with this foundation guys you actually don't even need to put on as much as i'm putting on right now one pump for each side of your face is perfectly fine so this is how this foundation looks because of the fact that we are using my ring lights you guys are not gonna be able to see how dark it really is but i'm telling you guys when i have this all over my face i look a little bit ghostly i mean not ghostly like too dark i look you guys it's, it's evident to me that i can see especially when i'm in natural lighting that it's way too dark when i use it by itself um i don't know if you guys are able to pick that up on camera this is my skin tone and then this is with the foundation but nonetheless the the coverage is gorgeous it sits on my face really nicely again really matte it covers up my imperfections really well it does a really really good job and it does what it says it's here to do basically in the in short the price is right it's under 200 rand which is perfect for a student on a budget who is like me and is trying to save them coins you're getting great 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 value for money here i would put it on the same level as some of your um high-end foundations that's just personally me definitely these two i would say are on par with each other i don't feel like one is way better than the other one i feel like this one is the body brand is 600 i think or ish or five something or 600 this one is under 200 rand i'm just letting you know that you can you can we can all live, we can all win, we can all thrive. But that is the Rimmel London Foundation one you guys have all been asking me about. And yes, again, I said it, y'all all asked me about this foundation. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I like it. I might, uh, when I actually get my proper shade, I might just do a makeup tutorial and actually show you guys how it applies and all of that. So again, let me know, interact with me in the comments. You guys know where to find me. So now guys, we have come to my favorite foundation. I, I wanna, I'm not gonna say I'm all time. She's my favorite foundation in this video, okay? So <laughs> she's a foundation guys that I've been riding with since the beginning towards the beginning of my makeup journey she's so affordable yet she works so hard to be great you know while other foundations may come and go she's a constant in my life it is of course you guys really know what this is if you guys don't know you're not ogs and actually if you guys know right now comment it down below if you know comment but it's the maybelline fit me foundation and this foundation guys i haven't even bought this foundation in so long like i just keep getting these this foundation from other people and i don't understand how that happens i even have this foundation in another shade in 355 um but i the first foundation shade that i ever bought it in was 360 and you guys remember when it first came to south africa it had like three shades and i actually went um when i was looking for another foundation about last week and i saw they have so many other shades now i'm like okay because that was my first initial critique about it is that where the shades at but definitely now they've extended a little bit more here in south africa because i know in america they have so many different shades the maybelline fit me fit me range so i'm really really happy and excited to see that they finally have extended their shade range but the shade that i've always known myself to be is 360 it is a little bit too dark for me but i always balance it out with my concealer and again which concealer do i use where is it so i can show you i use the maybelline fit me concealer guys fit me is just that b i'm so sorry like she actually just wins but first things first again we're gonna see what the webinets are saying about miss maybelline fit me okay this one is gonna be a bit of a mouthful it says this product goes beyond skin tone matching to fit the unique texture issues of normal to oily skin for the ultimate natural skin fit while some foundations can exaggerate pores and oily skin, only our pore min minimizing foundation contains our genius blurring micro powders that erase pores and absorb oil for a naturally matte and poreless looking finish. Dermatologists and allergy tested, does not clog pores, oil free, apply evenly to your face and blend with your fingers. I don't know about all that fingers stuff, but definitely I agree with all the things that have been said about the foundation really it's not the mattest foundation you'll find i will say that i don't feel like it's super super matte and that might be it um on my skin because i do have combination oily skin so if maybe you have um dry skin it may be more matte for you but i don't feel like it's super duper matte but i feel like it's matte enough poreless i definitely think it does have blurring properties some people honestly have given like they hate this foundation this foundation is not for them 
absolutely hate it and some people love it it's their favorite foundation i feel like there is no in between with this one foundation it's either you love it or you hate it i'm one of the baby girls who loves it honestly i've never had anything bad to say about this foundation i love the price point guys 99 rand for foundation is really 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 something to be like wowed at and yeah i really just feel like if you are a baby girl who doesn't have that many coins Maybe let us put you on with this foundation and has actually allowed such foundations to be really, really accessible to us, which I love. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch 360 for you. I might just swatch 355 as well, though I know for a fact 355 is not my shade. This is our good sis 360. So 360 guys, she's a bit, she's a bit on the dark side for a good sis like me. And then this is 355. 355 is always. Is it worse? Doesn't it look worse? Hey, 360 looks worse in in comparison now. But I don't know what it is about this this one, guys. It's like red, and it just doesn't match this one. When I blend it out, um, I don't even know if you guys can see. I don't even know. Do you call it oxidizing? I don't know what it is, but this one, when it dries, it really does fit my skin tone. This one, when it dries, it dries orangey red, which I cannot stand for my skin. So I'm actually just gonna swatch 360. 355 is canceled. I can't even use sometimes 355 when I mix it with other foundations, which is just not good. <laughs> This is how 360 sits on my skin. I know initially it looked really dark, but this foundation fits me perfectly when it's covering my entire face, and especially when I add my concealers and everything, it looks brilliant. As I told you guys, it's not completely, completely matte. Like the other foundations that I have shown you guys, it's not the mattest that I have tried, but um, it really does do the job in the end. It does, it's not also like do a dewy foundation. It's like matte, but it give, it doesn't give the idea that it's really, really drying on the skin, which I really, really love. This foundation, I can say, feels very much like skin, very, very light on the, on the skin. It's a foundation that I would recommend for everyday wear. So I did say that this will be the foundation that I'll be putting all over my face. So let's get to it. Enjoy the music. <laughs> This is how the foundation looks all over my skin and I'm gonna go away just quickly do my brows and do my concealer because the fact that I feel like I look like I'm naked more right right now and I'll see you guys in a second okay guys that took me 355 million years to do because you guys know that I'm team brows for foundation so I actually struggled so if my brows don't look their best please keep it to yourself so last but not least, I said I was going to give you guys an honorable mention, one foundation in that category. And that foundation is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Sorry about that. This is how it looks. It is a drop foundation. Um, it's really, really great. I think you guys would have seen, if you follow me on Instagram, which if you haven't already, follow me on my Instagram. If you haven't already seen, I did a campaign with them in December, launching this foundation and launching the darker shades that they have. And this foundation fits me really, really well as well. Not exactly to my skin tone, but not perfect. Of course, you guys know that I'm not gonna be able to swatch this for you guys because I've already got a face of makeup on. I am in the shade, oh, it's 85, it's chestnut beige. And um, my, I'm kind of an in-between shade. I'm um, this one and the next, I think it's the next one down, if I'm not, no, next one 
next one down yes next one down if i'm not mistaken um i find in a lot of drugstore foundations that i don't have an exact shade sometimes i'm a little bit off on but i feel like the mixture of those two is perfect for me so i'm um, let's actually look at what the interwebs are saying about this foundation cadrice's hd liquid coverage foundation is an ultra lightweight high coverage foundation for a natural looking finish what i will say is that definitely a mattifying foundation love the way it applies it is not like how i expected to um feel on the skin because it is a drop foundation i thought it was going to be super super liquidy it's not like that i would say like mousse mousse to liquid consistent consistency sits on the skin really well blends out really really nicely as well lasts up to 24 hours definitely i think it can last long mattifying yes second skin effect yes definitely um and full coverage even though it is a drop foundation which again something that i did not expect but yeah it's a really really great foundation guys i haven't given it too much wear i would obviously during the found the campaign time and then i have worn it a few times here and there this year but i haven't been able to put it in the category of best yet but it's definitely well on its way to being there um definitely check it out guys because honestly catrice for me is not a uh um cosmetics range or cosmetics company that i feel like has a lot of products that are suited to people with darker skin tones so when they did come out with this i was very very happy about that change in the drugstore community a lot of the foundations that you can actually a lot of the brands rather that you can only find at this came a little bit problematic when it comes to darker shades but definitely guys give this foundation a try um, also, I don't think it's that expensive. So another really great alternative to your more expensive drop foundation um, foundations. <laughs> So yeah guys that is the end of this video please let me know down below which foundations you guys have tried from the ones that i have said today what you guys feel about the foundations if you guys have tried them do you feel like i'm being fair do you had a good um or bad experience with these foundations definitely let me know down below in the comments thank you again to you guys for making it to the end of this video really really appreciate it please do not forget to like comment subscribe leave suggestions for future videos down below big thumbs up for wet and wild foundation review I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.